Archie before Bravo, serving as net control for the Reddit UK Weekly Activity Net. This net meets each Sunday afternoon at 1600 hours local time and is open to all radio amateurs interested in emergency communications. The primary purpose of the net is to provide the opportunity for members to test equipment, exchange traffic, news, opinions and information, and additional information can be found on the Raynet UK website at www.raynet-uk.net. This is a directed net, which means all calls are to be made to the net control station unless you are instructed otherwise, and all Raynet UK operators are invited and encouraged to check into the net. When you do check in, please announce your call sign slowly and phonetically, followed by your name. If you wish to leave the net immediately after checking in, then please call in and out. Otherwise, if you want to leave after subsequent turns, please make it clear you want to check out at that time. After I've heard a few check-ins, I will pause, repeat what I've heard, and if you're not acknowledged, then please do try again. And if you miss your slots for calling in, since I'll be calling in by call sign number order, then I will be calling for any stray at the end of the UK and the end of the international sections. So I'll now begin taking check-ins to the net, as usual, in call sign number order, starting with stations with figure 8. Figure 8 in their call sign mission to check-in. Please call now. This is Chief Goran RC. Hotel in the air to in and out drink is the Golf eight Echo Echo Yankee, name is Mike. Golf eight Sierra Delta Uniform, name's Bob, good afternoon, Greg, in and out. This is Chief for an RC. Um, I've got a Golf 8 Hotel in Deer Kilo, good afternoon Jack and Bob, Golf 8 Sierra Delta Uniform, both of whom are in and out, and Mike, Golf 8 Echo Echo Yankee, staying with me. Any other 8s please, Chief for an RC, over. For an RC, then it's sevens. Stations with figure seven in their call sign, please go ahead. G for an RC, over. G seven on the H, Golf Seven November Echo Hotel. My seven Alpha Vic Stopper. Good afternoon, Greg. Is G four and R C. Good afternoon, Graham. G seven and E H and Dave M seven A V O. Any other sevens, please? G four and R C over. Nothing heard. So let's try for six. Is stations figure six? Figure six in their call sign, please go ahead. G four and R C over. Uh, this is Golf 7 Delta Papa Echo, the G7DP. Just wanted to finish when he was on the uh, Raynet uh, net uh, this afternoon, the G7DP. This is Chief for an RC, I heard no sixes. Uh, Jim, Golf 7 Delta Papa Echo, this is the Raynet net, and I'm doing the check ins. Do you wish to call? Do you wish to check in over? Yeah, good afternoon to you. Yeah, first is, sorry, I had a problem with uh, my hotspot. Um, wasn't receiving anything, just wondered if uh, it was down. Uh, apparently not. Uh, yes, uh, sign me in uh, if you can, please. Uh, G7DP. G4NRC, okay, thanks for that. Any other sixes, please? G4NRC, over. Heard stations figure five, figure five in the call sign, please call in. Chief for an RC over. G 
the four and our C. Very few fives to look for, so let's go straight for the fours. Stations figure four in their call sign, please go ahead. Chief for an RC, over. G4 and RC, G4 Kilo Uniform Juliet, uh, Trevor. Uh, G4, KIL Phillips, House Sussex. This is G4 and RC, good afternoon Trevor, G4 KUJ and Philip, Golf 4 Kilo and Lima. Any other fours, please? G4 and RC, over. G4 and RC, no more fours. Let's try stations figure three. Figure three in that call sign, please go ahead. G4 and RC, over. Call three, Victor Echo, I no one just through Chris in Winchester in the night this afternoon. Uh, Greg, thanks for joining us. G3VEH. Golf 3, Zulu Hotel X ray, Ian. Here's G4 and RC. Okay, uh, Chris, Golf 3, Victor Echo Hotel. Good afternoon to you. Copied in and out. Uh, noted that on the Brandmeister side of the bridge there was some packing loss showing. Um, so didn't sound that bad though on the Raynet side of the bridge. Ian Golf 3, Zulu Hotel X ray. Good afternoon to you. Uh, any other threes, please? Over. For an RC, no threes. Let's go for the twos. Stations with figure two in their call sign. That includes the intermediate twos. Please call now. G for an RC, over. G for an RC. Second call for the stations with two in their call sign. Figure two stations, including the intermediate twos. Please go now. G4 and RC, over. G4 and RC, then it's stations figure one. Figure one in their call sign. Please go ahead. G4 and RC, over. Off mic one, X ray, Echo Alpha, Peter, and Aberdeen. Over. This is G4 and RC. Good afternoon, Peter. Golf mic one, X ray, Echo Alpha. Any other ones, please? G4 and RC, over. For an RC, the end is in sight. Let's have Mike Zero stations. Mike Zero stations. If any regional secondary identifier, please call now. G4 and RC, over. Here's Mike Zero, Dolph Uniform Yankee. Mike Zero, Dolph Uniform Yankee. Mike Zero, Mike Foxtrot Sierra. Whiskey, X ray, golf, Shirley, E Cornwall, in and out. Thank you, Greg. This is G4 and RC. Feels like I'm missing somebody. Uh, so I've got Guy, Mike Zero, Golf Uniform Yankee, Drew, Mike Zero, Mike Foxtrot Sierra, and Shirley, Mike Zero, Whiskey X-Ray Golf, who is in and out. Any other Mike Zero stations of any regional secondary identifier, please? G4 and RC, over. Mike Zero, Juliet, Victor, Zulu, Led in Loughborough, in and out. G4 
G4NRC. Good afternoon, Les. Mike Zero, Juliet Victor Zulu. OK, let's have Golf Zero stations. Golf Zero stations of any regional secondary identifier, please. G4NRC, over. Golf Whiskey Zero, Juliet, Lima, X-Ray. Good afternoon, Greg. Name is Andy, rain at Pembrokeshire. No traffic today, so in and out, please. Over. This is Chief for an RC. Good afternoon, Andy. Golf Whiskey Zero, Juliet Lima, X-Ray. OK, if you're in and out, I will put your reminder about Gritfest in to the church notices. Any other Golf Zero stations of any regional secondary identifier, please? Chief for an RC, over. Mike, Zero, India, Tango, Mike, Andy, in Cornwall, and Shirley, in and out, Greg, thank you, and apologies for coming in on a Golf Zero, we seem to have a little bit of a, a pile-up at this end, over. G4 and RC, no problem, Andy, I knew you were missing in there somewhere, Mike, Zero, India, Tango, Mike, copied as in and out, uh, let's see if there's anybody else stuck in the pile-up then. Any UK stations, any United Kingdom stations who have missed their turn to check in, please do so now. This is G4 and RC, over. G4 and RC, then do we have any international liaison stations? Anybody like Nordsamband of Norway, Arin in Ireland, anybody else in Central Europe usually checks in. Any international liaison stations, please. This is G4 and RC, over. Yeah, Echo India 5, India Echo Bravo. So, Tom here, Greg, no traffic for me, uh, so in and out. G4 and RC. Good afternoon, Tom. Echo India 5, India Echo Bravo. Uh, right, so anybody who's missed their turn from any nation, any call sign number, a final call to get check in. G4 and RC, over. Okay, nothing heard. Good afternoon, everyone. This is G4 and RC. Usual reminder, this net is being live streamed by Graham G7 NEH to YouTube today. Live stream and recording will be available by searching G7 NEH, that's Golf 7 November Echo Hotel on YouTube. In service information, um, I got notification we lost our connection from the Raynet server to the Fusion Network from about 15.20 yesterday until about 07.35 this morning. Apologies as usual for any disruption that might have been caused, but the error messages from the Fusion side are notoriously quiet about what the problem might have been. Uh, for net questions, I was encouraged yesterday to try a two-metre sideband QSO between my QTH in Chester and a friend down in Coventry. He has a massive 12-element beam on a very large crank-up tower and a linear to match. And I was running a barefoot FT818 with 5 watts and a 5-element beam at 3 metres high on a stage speaker stand. To my surprise, it worked in both directions. We encourage keeping many tools in the emergency comms toolbox, but has VHF SSB ever been used on one of your group's events? Um, that diversity of the toolbox might hopefully also come through at the Ham Radio Fair in Friedrichshafen on June 23rd to 25th. And aside from the emergency comms meeting I'll be holding on the 23rd, the IARU has also taken a booth to showcase innovative projects from the amateur radio community. There's more information at www.iaru-r1.org. Graham, G7NEH and myself will be at Friedrichshafen, so there won't be a live stream of the net for that weekend, and an alternative net control will be needed. So as usual, any volunteers, but we do promise to bring back holiday snaps. Um, in event kind of news, um, 
and the GW0JOX, who was mentioned on this net and in the weekly news, the need for one or two checkpoint operators. It's what he's down to now, an event called Gritfest, uh, down in Pembrokeshire, or near Carmarthenshire even. Uh, still looking for one or two uh, members to support, so if you can help out with that event, look back into the weekly news and look up and these announcements from, I think it was last week. So, what news for everybody else to start off with? Go first to Mike Goldfate, Echo Echo Yankee, G4 and RC, over. G4NRC from G8EY. Um, I'll put the answer to the question first. No, we haven't used SSB on 2 meters or 70 cents um, for any exercises, but um, some of us do have the um, ability to. But uh, without um, greater pickup, then obviously uh, we can't really use that. Weather wise, the northeast winds from the North Sea have finally blown the clouds away, and we've actually had a, a couple of days of sunshine. 16.5 centigrade, 1026 millibars, 55% relative humidity, and 0% cloud cover, which is um, quite new to us over here. 10 mile an hour winds from roughly northeast. Otherwise, um, nothing much to add. I've uh, started looking at the possibility of um, investigating NVA, NVIS on um, 40 metres mobile, but there's certainly some challenges there. From G8EY, over. Golf 8, Echo Echo Yankee, G4 and RC. Well, um... NVIS in the UK has got a mixed relationship in some respects. When you read everything that happens in America, it looks so easy. But they cover much bigger areas than we do. And trying to uh, find the sweet band which will cover everything from um, Penzance to Aberdeen as a reasonable pair of um, places to go to is not always that easy. So 7 megs, yes, but don't forget 60 metres and 80 metres are also needed through the year to keep things going. Mike, next to Graham, G7 and EH, G4 and RC, over. Yeah, G4 and RC, G7 and EH. Yeah, good afternoon, Greg, and uh, good afternoon to uh, all on the net. Uh, not much to report from this end today, really. Um, my apologies from last week. Um, so I've got no figures, obviously we didn't stream the net. Uh, but the week before, a uh, total of 22 views and 3 likes on the uh, on the net. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if anybody you're watching the stream, if you can hit that like button, it's much appreciated. And uh, uh, subscribe to the channel if uh, you want to get notifications of uh, upcoming nets and, uh, and various other things. Uh, Greg mentioned before that uh, myself and him will be at Friedrichshafen uh, at the end of June. Uh, I will be taking some video gear and uh, uh, doing a few vlogs and may even do uh, uh, a bit of a live stream. If uh, um, if anybody would like that, just leave a, leave a note in the comments. Uh, we can do a, a live stream from Friedrichshafen. Uh, so with that, nothing else from me, so back to you, Greg. Uh, G4 and RC, G7 and H. Seven and H. This is G four and RC returning. Okay, Graham. Um, so as he points out, uh, the YouTube stream does have a button specifically for people who like it. You just push the like button, and everybody gets very happy. Um, so we do need to see that there's still value uh, going forward. As far as request for live streams from Friedrichshafen, from uh, Graham, there is definitely a request from the IARU community who would love to see uh, my session live streamed. But uh, three talks, potentially two and a half hours, um, and whatever the uh, Wi-Fi is like in the hall could be a bit challenging. But we'll, uh, we'll work it out one way or another. I was reckoning I'm just recording what I could and um, uploading stuff later. 
Right, thanks for that. Next to Dave, like I said, and I'll put it to Oscar, Chief, and I'll see you then. Before NRC, Mike 7, Alpha Victor Oscar. Yeah, good afternoon, Greg. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, hope everyone's well. And it's a uh, rather lovely sunny, sunny Sunday afternoon. I can get my words out. Um, quick one for you, Greg. I uh, noticed in checking before. The link to YSF for me is still down. And uh, it's a dropped off high star. So when you go into your drop down boxes to link, Back up through Fusion, the Raynet link is uh, is not there on the uh, ever increasing list of um, YSF uh, connections there, Greg. So um, I don't know whether it needs setting back up uh, from from Raynet end or or it is has dropped out again. Uh, back to you, Greg. Mike Seven Alpha Victor Oscar. Seven Alpha Victor Oscar, Chief for an RC. Uh, well, it still sends me notifications saying that we're uh, we're not where we should be and that we're back up. So I definitely recognise that the bridge should be there, and you certainly used it the other week. Um, okay, we'll investigate, which probably means be trying to find wherever the login details were for making that uh, that account work, just in case. And hopefully we'll get back on the list soon. Okay, thanks, Dave. Um, I might be thinking about that as we get down to his turn in about five time. Next to Jim, Golf 7, Delta Papa Echo, G4 and I'll see you. Yeah, G4 and I'll see you. G7 CV returning. Uh, great. Good afternoon to uh, yourself, Greg, and everybody else on the uh, on the channel. Um, Beautiful day here, um, certainly with Arden at the moment, a bit, bit breezy, uh, but uh, water, wolf, sunshine, blue skies, you know, 21 degrees centigrade, so uh, maybe we're going to get a summer at last. Um, as for news, um, apologies first of all, I couldn't go onto the net uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've been very busy at the weekend. Um, we've had one new member join, shock horror. Um, we uh, had an email from a chap. Um, unfortunately, the, um, the Raynet uh, side of things didn't seem to work in forwarding his information to us um, in, uh, with Thames. Um, but he did pop up um, uh, his uh, recently licensed M7CTE, Doru, um, who uh, originates from Romania. Uh, but he's, uh, he's joined our group uh, this, uh, this particular week. Um, so that's all good news. Um, been playing with uh, Winlink um, simply because we don't have a backup system if the internet did go down here. Um, so we've been playing with Winlink and using the uh, the VARA uh, TNC on HF, uh, running in uh, on 10 meters um, over to Switzerland of all places. But um, uh, email and file transfer worked both ways uh, really well. Um, so uh, we're very pleased with that. We're trying to encourage other members in the group to. Uh, to join up as well with uh, Winlink, Winlink Express. Um, finally, yeah, no, we've never uh, used SSB um, on 70 or any other band for that uh, uh, matter. Um, we have capability. Um, maybe that's something we should try one uh, one sunny evening uh, out in the countryside. Anyway, back around to you, Greg. Uh, G4 NRC, G7 D2. Seven Delta Papa Echo Chief for an RC returning. Okay, um, yeah, it's interesting. The number of FT 817s and 818s sold, you'd like to think we've got more SSB capability out there than thought. Um, and it's at one point used to get you away from, um, from people with scanners. Um, the new member info, uh, I can't multitask too much because I'm operating and logging today, but I will have a look at the joining form if the guy actually posted through the um, the contact us form on the national website should be able to see what happened well to see that the request was made. What I do find is that the Office three six five system does seem to treat emails from our joining forms as spam on more than a few occasions. So I have to check the junk email box uh, frequently to drag them back out of that, which doesn't help. Uh, Winlink, I'm wondering if you're actually able to
or emails within the UK rather than sending them to Switzerland um, because uh, Windlink as an email system is a bit prone to uh, vulnerabilities, not that they would admit it. Uh, but the Germans won't use Winlink on data protection grounds, and um, you could argue it could be um, denial of service to to, uh, to stop its uh, use. But as a mail mail store locally, then that would be um, doable, because Winlink is not really a mode. Winlink is a back end. It's the VARA TNCs or the AX25 TNCs or the Pactor TNCs that are the modes in use. Uh, you've reminded me, though, that the European equivalent PSK Mail has just put a new release out of software, which does um, allow you to operate your own mailbox and use your own mail accounts rather than the centralised one, which provides a bit more diversity. That only got announced the other day. Okay, no doubt more on that on the next over. Next to Trevor, G4KUJ, G4NRC, over. G four and I'll say G four K U J in reply. Yeah, okay, great. Good afternoon to you and uh, everybody else. Um lovely um, sunny weather uh, we're having at the moment. It looks as like it's gonna continue through it. Um I don't think we've ever used sideband on an uh, on an event. Uh, some years ago we did um uh, do some tests when uh, those of you who uh, went to an AGM down in uh, South, probably Eastbourne or thereabouts, um, there was a company there who demonstrated uh, an ICRI unit, the Incident Command the Radio Interface, and they lent us one, which uh, we did in fact try, and from, from memory, um, we linked on an FM, 23 SEMs, 70 SEMs, 2 meters and 4 meters, and SSB on 6 meters from a, a remote location. It all uh, worked very well. Um, I will check the um, YSF um, system later. I need to go in and re program the uh, the open spot, which at the moment is going in through uh, Brandmeister, I'm monitoring, uh, monitoring that, and I'll see if the, the YSF system is working. Apart from that, nothing else. Should be around uh, next week all being well. G4NRC, G4KUJ. G4KUJ. G4 and RC returning. Ah, the ICRI boxes, that's a blast from the past. Um, for those need a bit of a deeper dive into that, it was like the old Raynet Cairo interface where radios were brought to a common plug and socket and uh, could then go into a box which would then mix the different audio paths together and route them wherever they needed to be. Uh, to Amazing how good ideas keep coming around at uh, frequent intervals. Uh, while uh, Peter Best of uh, one of the Birmingham Raynet groups developed Cairo before talk throughs were really a thing back in the 80s, uh, there's now an American amateur who is coming up with an open headset interconnection standard with the same intent of um, bringing all radios to a common plug and socket to let uh, mixing them together be a little easier. Okay, thanks, Trevor. Next to Philip, go four kilo and the Lima G for an RC over. G four RC G four K I L. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Greg. Um, yeah, two things to comment on that one. Perhaps I'll pick up that last one first. Uh, mixing audio. The um, uh, I've been playing around a little bit with with that. I've just I've been using well, it's actually a um, uh, a four channel interface for, uh, with, for a, a USB interface for a computer that I've been using, but you can use it without the USB uh, as a four channel mixer um, with um, because it's stereo with effectively two outputs. So I've been using that to um, uh, to feed cross feed audio between two different radios and also feed my mic in as well. 
Um, but it's been a little while since I've done it, because I've only done it at the moment from when I've got mains uh, power. I was just looking yesterday. Actually, it, uh, it needs six volts without sorting out uh, a six-volt supply, so I could use it um, when I'm out and about, uh, which is what I am for, for um, uh, when we have our weekly net now and when we have activities, of course. Uh, talking of activities, um, we had a successful one on the 21st of May, which I think was uh, followed the last time I came up on this net. So that went very well. Um, we have an event coming up in Horsham next week, and that is mentioned on the Raynet News, and we could do with some uh, additional help with that if anyone is available to do so. Um, also, the following week uh, at Chichester as well, I know that's the same date that they um, um, uh, uh, were looking for some help uh, with that um, other event as well, uh, but we're not that close, so if anybody feels like coming to Chichester, both of those, the Horsham and Chichester ones, are both overnight. The Horsham one is really overnight, sort of 8 in the morning, till about, uh, 8 in the evening to about 6 in the morning. The Chichester one won't be so long, more like um, sort of 8 in the evening till about 1 in the morning. Right, um, to me just sideband, um, I've got that capability um, up until uh, about well, six months ago. I had it, I could have gone to um, uh, about 35 watts with it, but uh, that was using a, a, an 817 with a, a two meter amplifier on the, on the outside. But unfortunately, I, I blew the amplifier up because I, I was using it mostly in the end to power up the, um, when I was using the, an 89, FT8900 as a crossband to avoid putting it on more than five watts. Uh, but of course, the classic happened that I, I, I put it, um, I inadvertently had it on the 50 watts and put it into the, uh, uh, the, the 8900 on 50 watts and put that in input power into the amp. It didn't like it. Um, that's on the to-do list to try and see if I can fix it. I did get a quote for commercial fixing, but it's basically a BER if I do that. Um, maybe I can do it myself. Have to see. Um, the uh, yeah, um, I did. Uh, it was the Raynet event, but I did use some. Um, Try using two meter sideband when I was assisting one of the local um, amateur radio clubs with windmills on the air a couple of weeks ago um, uh, with a, a, um, five, uh, a five element uh, two meter beam at, up on a, a ten meter mast um, up on top of a hill near a windmill. Um, and made a couple of contacts that way uh, on sideband, then tuned up to uh, the uh, uh, FM band, started making a lot more contacts on FM. Um, even though I've got the uh, uh, the, the beam uh, horizontal and most of the FM stations were vertical. Uh, so I thought, well, I'm driving that, I'll go back to FM, which I did. Um, so um, that's my recent experience. With FM. We haven't used it on, on events. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, um, <clears throat> um, uh, that did a uh, sideband on radio reminded me of HF. Um, and um, uh, the, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to be up, uh, Greg, during this following uh, uh, month because that's Wednesdays. They're not good for me. Um, I might get up on Saturday the 1st of July, but then, of course, it'll be Fridays during July. That's not good for me either. Possibly when we get to August, when it gets to Mondays, uh, maybe I'll be able to, to get up. Right. I think that's probably uh, me. Um, thanks. Uh, I'll um, uh, let it go around. Uh, uh, back to you, uh, uh, Greg, uh, G4RC, uh, G4KIL. G4 KAL, G4 and RC, no problem. Um, yeah, I couldn't find the linear yesterday for doing this test with the, the G6MES. Um, and I'll admit, I did not feel very lucky about this anyway, since there's a region, at least one reasonable range of hills between uh, M and I. But so it's enthused me to try and find the linear again, and 30 watts is better than 5 watts. But there is the problem that if nobody's there listening, you won't get as much activity as you found. Uh, more people have got FM handhelds and will walk around with those than uh, horizontally polarised SSB stuff. But that equally keeps some other people away that occasionally causes interference. OK, thanks for that. Uh, next is Ian. Golf 3 Zulu Hotel X-Ray, G4 and RC. Over. Greg, November, listening. G4 NRC in the group. This is G3 ZHA. Um, is that a other person has just thrown me off? Oh, yes, I, I don't have any news for you. But um, if Graham wants to put any um, walk around videos from Friedrichshafen, I would be most interested to see those. I'm not so interested in presentations. So I, I can't keep up with all the technical reading I have to do now. But uh, that, that's probably enough for me for the moment. So I'll pass it back to you. Good afternoon, all. In case I didn't say that, this is G3 ZHX. Yes, thank you very much.
to Echo Zero Tango Delta November, Acknowledge, Stand By, and clear the rest of the list. Uh, right next, it's Peter, Golf Mike 1, X-Ray Echo Alpha, Chief for an RC, over. G4 NRC from GM18CA. There's nothing really to report apart from the unusually nice weather. We've uh, had most days this week of uh, positively summer. Um, as far as the use of SSB on Renet events, uh, we don't use it, although we have on a couple of occasions used it for the uh, NVIS to get from the bottom of one valley into the bottom of the next, which is an excellent mode for up here with the steep valleys and an awful lot of granite. Back to you, Greg. For an RC to go by quite extra echo alpha. Yes, um, yeah, I thought that might be the case. That's why I was <clears throat> sort of clear with sideband on VHF, which uh, was seen a little underused. Okay, thanks, Peter. Just noting the time. Next to Guy, Mike Zero Golf Uniform Yankee, G4 and RC, over. G4 and RC and Zero GUY. Yep, good afternoon, Greg. Good afternoon, all. Uh, so, a couple of things. Uh, one, yeah, apologies about the um, uh, yeah, uh, the uh, fusion. Uh, we filled up a, uh, a file partition with log data, which uh, stopped that working. So, that's now cleared out. I'm now looking to see how I can uh, more readily um, expunge the logs so that we don't, uh, don't exceed that again. Um, I suspect what's happened is because at the time of polling, the uh, fusion link was not available. It missed the, um, the, the, the poll check um, and therefore has not been pushed into the uh, hotspots. So, yep, they won't appear there. Um, by um, tomorrow, well, by midnight, they get polled again. It'll be up again and they'll be back into that list. So that should be fine. So uh, ignore it for uh, for another 12 hours or so, and all will be well. Um, otherwise, I'm just playing with um, mesh networking, both um, Arden and uh, AMP um, net or net 44 net. Um, just trying to get some uh, links working. Um, not having a great amount of success at the moment on either. But uh, we're fiddling, um, and we'll get there in the end. Uh, otherwise, uh, that's it for me. So I shall hand it back to you, Greg. G4 NRC, this is Mike Zero, Golf Uniform Yankee. Mike Zero, Golf Uniform Yankee, G4 NRC. Yeah, I'd intended to um, to play with the Ampernet stuff, um, having decided that weekends are for not working. Um, but I haven't quite got around to it today, it's just playing catch up with everything else. So, yeah, I've got uh, two um, microtic um, access points now, so I can do a longer range link rather than the stuff I have inside the house. So, I've got all the toys to play with. Probably means next weekend weather might not be so good. I don't know who dared call, forgotten who dared call this summer earlier, but we know how long summers last in this country. Um, but I'm hoping to uh, to get the opportunity to play with some of that stuff myself and uh, build up my big reference data network here using everything from AX25 to Arden. Uh, thanks for the explanation on the PyStar listing, and yeah, I look forward to seeing us back on that list tomorrow um, in the latest refresh. Okay, next it's true. Mike Zero, Mike Fox, Fox Sierra, G4 and RC, over. Mike Zero, Mike Foxtrot Sierra, M Zero MFS. I had a feeling you were mobile before. You're still with us, Drew, from G4 and RC over. G4 and RC, nothing 
further from Drew. OK, uh, let's take that stray, Steve, to Echo Zero Tango Delta November, Chief for NRC, over. To Echo Zero, Tango Delta November, 2E0 TDN, G4 and RC, over. G4 and RC, nothing from either of them. OK, um, I'll head back up to the top of the list. Um, I did have one extra item, but I was aware I was going to run out of time on the, uh, the first uh, call. I think I mentioned a few months ago, our colleagues in South Africa, um, Rainier's equivalent organisation known as Hamnet, known as Hamnet, who have been covering something called the Comrades Marathon in KwaZulu Natal, have been told their services were no longer required. That's what I remember. Uh, they have news this morning that they're uh, needed in the events in a couple of weeks' time. So the organisers have obviously had an about face and decided um, that uh, we are useful after all. So, uh, secondary question as we troll down the list for the final time, do we have any such changeable organisers in this country? And would we actually equate a short notice public service event to an emergency call out for practice? So, with that final thought and for finals, back to Mike Golf 8, Echo Echo Yankee, G4 and RC, over. G4 NRC from G8 EEY. Oh, well, I'll start at the top of my little list. Office 365, yes, I agree with you on the um, applications. I, sh I think I actually had one come through automatically, but I have the junk box right at the top of my um, inbox so that I can see when stuff goes there by accident. Uh, but I also get um, problems with SPF errors, and I don't mean some protection factor, I think it means security protocol format or something. I've got round to calling it a variety of AI, artificial intelligence, and adding AD, which is artificial dumbness. Uh, I seem to remember in the 60s, um, mobile on two meters was mostly um, halos, so horizontal. As for Changes of heart and things like that, well, yes, in this part of the world, we find that councils have a habit of um, suddenly saying, well, you've um, helped us out for the last 10 years, but we don't want you anymore. We found somebody else instead. So it happens very readily, and sometimes you can't find out why. From G A E E Y. Over. Golf 8 Echo Echo Yankee G4 and RC. Uh, yes, I don't think we've had quite such a um, changeable mind here in Cheshire, but um, it, it is one where sometimes we get some very late requests for can you cover the event you did for us last year at just a week's notice, and then when I say we didn't cover an event for you last year, he gets very confused. Uh, you're right, initial two meter mobile was horizontal for some reason. Uh, I think the general polarisation for everybody on VHF has probably done like that. And uh, yes, sender protection framework, SPF errors on emails, that's something that could be fixed in the domain name system uh, so that our email is recognised as coming from correct servers. I think that's probably a glitch I can, I can look at, but as you know, I cannot fix. Um, and on that note, uh, next to Graham, see how our viewership's going. G7 and the HG for an RC over. Uh, G7 and the H, returning. Uh, right, I can't give you this week's figures at the moment, Greg, because I'm just downstairs. I'm uh, not in front of the uh, computer screen, unfortunately. But uh, noted on the comments on, on Friedrich's album, uh, I wasn't planning really to do talks, um, it was more going to be walk around videos uh, if we do do a live stream, um, uh, that sort of thing really. Um, I don't think I've got the gear really to do a, um, a set up and do a talk um, as a live stream 
as you say, it's uh, issues with the Wi-Fi and that in there. But we'll uh, we will try a walkabout live stream on one of the days. So uh, that's about it for me. Um, G for the NRC, G seven H. G seven and H G four and R C. Okay. Um. In case anybody's thinking it kind of matches back to Mike's comments, uh, my face isn't on the uh, live stream this week. Just in case it encourages any interviews, uh, because of a security certificate issue on the service we use to get my video across to Graham. That uh, their security certificate hasn't been renewed, and some browsers will refuse point blank to connect to a. Um, a website without a proper security certificate anymore to protect you from yourselves. Um, I found a workaround, Graham got into it, however, we still couldn't talk to each other. So uh, it's a Greg Free video this week, and we'll see what that does for the numbers. Okay, thanks, Graham. Thanks for doing the stream. Uh, next to Dave, got Mike Seven, Alpha Victor Oscar, G4 and RC, over. Good evening, see. Mike, seven off with Uh No, nothing more to add this end, Greg. Uh, thanks to Guy for the update on uh, the fusion. And uh, yeah, I'll have a look um, probably tomorrow when I come home from work, so tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and uh, see where we go from there, see if it's back on, and uh, we'll have it back to the hotspot. Um, just about to go off now and solder the um, antenna connectors onto the uh, new. Duplex MMDVM board uh, that arrived. Uh, didn't get a chance to start building it, uh, so I'll have an hour or so now before Dems get back to our mums. But uh, thanks for taking it next and uh, catch up tomorrow. Just looking at the date, actually, um, on our local two meter net. Uh, back to you, Mike Seven Alpha Victor Oscar. Mike 7, Alpha Victor Oscar, G4 and RC. Oops, thanks for the reminder. I lost a couple of days being away Thursday, Friday for work. Uh, so, yes, uh, I will make sure I'm awake and on the right frequency at 7.30 tomorrow for the West Cheshire Group Net. Okay, thank you, Dave. Good luck building up the new hotspots. Uh, I'm getting the soldering iron out later to uh, get a solar charger working, which will probably equally uh, cause the sun to go in. Right, next to Jim for a final. Golf 7, Delta Pepper Echo, G4 and RC over. Yeah, G4 and RC, G7 VP, I would say. Yes, uh, Greg, nothing much uh, more to add. Um, thanks for the heads up on the PSK mail. I'll look into that um, if it's a more secure system. Um, it's another string to the bow, anyway. Uh, but yeah, many thanks for running in the net, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, catch up with you uh, again next Sunday. Uh, many thanks, and uh, yeah, seven three is all. I'll just be listening very free. G four N R C G seven D P. Seven Delta Paparaco G four N R C returning. Yeah, PSK mails, a Java application, and um, will run on it. As far as I remember, it will host its own mail, so you can drop stuff on it. But um, you can also um, set up accounts which will route through to your personal emails, wherever it might be, uh, which made a bit more sense for user services because they could um, therefore use it to connect to their own accounts rather than have to create specific Windlink email accounts. You did set me thinking, because I do use um, Windlink as part of the AWRL national traffic system stuff that I do most evenings, and uh, HB9AK, one of the main stations in Switzerland, just has a couple of occasions where it will say, thank you for connecting, but since I cannot find the main Windlink servers, I can't take any traffic and will promptly then just disconnect me. So if you do use Windlink um, and want it to be resilient, you find a so-called hybrid mode hybrid modes will do RF to RF forwarding, but otherwise the rest of them need to be able to phone home to America or wherever the servers are today. Uh, Trevor, however, will corroborate or otherwise that or correct me since one of our other MTS stations. G4KUJ, G4 and RC, over. G4 
G four N R C G four K U J reply. Yes, okay, um Greg and everyone else. Um okay on A K. I've never actually experienced that uh, um that message come back from AK. Um I have had it um bounce me out and say he can't hear me. Uh sorry, he can't uh, take the connection. And I think that may be because it's um it's taking another transmission uh, that I can't hear somewhere else in Europe, probably. Um, coming back to SSB, um, have the capability with the uh, IC7100 to do sideband from top band right the way through to uh, 70 stems on the same uh, same machine, so I can do that if it's required very easily. Um, and talking about halos, yes, that reminds me of uh, the days uh, a long time ago when I had a halo mounted on a, a roof rack on a uh, Mori 1000, I seem to remember. Um, and then everything, as uh, was previously mentioned, on the side on uh, two meters was horizontal. Until Bill Lowe started to sell IE in New E or what later became ICOM, I see two Fs, which are the six channel FM transceivers with uh, on four 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 eight as the uh, the standard crystal that came in it. So it's a trip down memory lane. And from that day on, I think um, vertical polarization became a uh, um, the sort of norm for mobile as the uh, FM uh, took uh, took hold. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for running with it, Greg, and all been a while. She'll be around next week. G4 and I'll see in the group. G4 KUJ. G4 KUJ, G4 and I'll see. Yeah, I think it goes back a bit before low electronics that uh, Pi Telecom also had a bit of a hand in vertical operations for the omnidirectional go everywhere and slightly easier to fit the antennas kind of um, thing for mobile than halos were. I was just thinking about the low profile nature of a halo though potentially and reminded myself that somebody um, in an ARRL article a couple of years ago uh, did a very jaunty looking slot antenna so it just looked like a sandwich of um, two aluminium plates with a gap between it but uh, with the way slot antennas work, a horizontal slot, very low profile, behaves like a vertical antenna. So making a very, uh, very low slung um, antenna to go on top of a car. And since uh, park, car park heights are getting lower and lower all the time, uh, would probably be useful. Okay, thanks Trevor. Thanks for coming on and uh, marking my homework on the log as we've been going, I think. Since it looks like you're logged in. Next to Philip Goff or Kilo India Lima with a question of whether or not you've seen the videos by Bob Heil, that's Hotel India Echo Lima, for Heil microphone frame, who has showed how to use four channel mixers and beyond to deal with the audio, not just the send audio from microphone to radio, but also uh, bringing it back into a station loudspeaker and uh, using the mixer to uh, improve the audio quality. G4KIL, G4NRC, over. G4NRC, G4KIL. Um, I haven't seen that. Um, uh, perhaps you mentioned the call sign again. I got the Bob Hyle, I got the name, I didn't get the, the call sign down on that. I can certainly have, have a look at that. That might, might well be of, of interest. Thank you. Um, yeah, the, the, the discussion in terms of uh, late notice, um, uh, nothing quite like what you had described there. We, we did have a situation where one of our uh, um, uh, one organisation did ask us to support uh, an event um, uh, last year and then cancelled very late um, and um, they've come back this year and asked us to, <laughs> to take part so hopefully we won't cancel again. I think I think they probably realised that the, uh, our, our involvement w was of value. Um, the only other thing I think I'll mention at the moment um, will be, um, uh, as I have done the last few times I've been on, that um, uh, we are looking to make use of this frequency, this, this talk group, um, uh, to supplement our FM net on um, uh, local net uh, to 8.30 on Monday evenings. Um, and the, um, 
uh, at the uh, on the DFM net on 14465, but I've uh, been trying to bridge across between from here to it, um, of which occasion is used. I will say that if, if nobody comes up, I won't content, won't maintain the bridge, as it were. Um, but I have, last couple of weeks, I have managed to get it up. Uh, it is the lowest of the priorities uh, that we're doing. I mean, my number two priority is to get Teams linked in, which has been working. Um, and then the, yeah, putting the DMR in is the third one. But um, um, if anybody would like to join on that one, I say it's 8, 8.30 is, is the formal part of the net, but it goes to chat mode, as we call it, on 8.45. And if anybody wished to come up and join in at that point, uh, you'd be most welcome. Okay, um, I, I'll basically say I'm signing at this stage. I need to go away and do some other stuff at the moment. Um, but if you just mention the call time, uh, Bob um, Hughes, uh, Hughes, or I can't read my writing. Um, if you mention that again, uh, um, I'll well, put back to you, Greg. Um, uh, I'll, you know, otherwise, I'm just listening, um, and uh, we'll be QR to NS calls. Um, back to you, G4 RC, G4 KL. G4KIL, G4NRC. Okay, Bob Hiles, call sign is Kilo 9, Echo India Delta. Kilo 9, Echo India Delta. So if you go onto YouTube and search the title of the video that's coming back up to the top of my list at the moment, is Using a Mixer for Transmitting. Say again, Using a Mixer for Transmitting. Video is dated uh, January 2016 and he goes through how he's managed to use it, one of his um, professional audio mixers for uh, messing sound up on the transmit and the receive direction, as I recall it. Okay, have a good net on Monday, and centuries, talk to you soon. Oh, and uh, did copy your uh, difficulties with the HF nets for the next couple of months, and no problem. Okay, next to Ian, Golf 3, Zulu Hotel X-Ray, G4 and RC, over. G4 NRC in the group. This is G3 ZHX. Um, briefly, before uh, Phil uh, goes away, um, is he aware that there are a hundred groups, a hundred talk groups assigned to his uh, his uh, organisation, which he could use? I've no problem with using uh, this this talk group, and it's none of my business anyway. Perhaps um, Guy might like to comment on the latter. But it seems a shame to have all these talk groups and not use them. I noticed that Derbyshire are using that. Um, getting back to the question uh, of SSB, in two decades more and more I've been with Aylesbury. Uh, we have never used it, although some people are equipped for it. So uh, that's probably the answer to your question. Uh, regarding um, organisers giving us the elbow, we have three major events uh, in Aylesbury, um, and this year we did the first one. The second one was cancelled due to adverse conditions, and the third one, they've uh, given us the elbow, and uh, we're waiting to see if next year they've changed their mind. Um, I might add that, that that particular one was the Ridgeway Challenge, which involved using a lot of groups. It wasn't just Aylesbury. Uh, it was all the way from... Um, Iving Hoe Beacon down to Marlborough uh, and involved a lot of coordination um, and uh, because the position I was on last year uh, was in a radio shadow I had a personal um, talk through and when I got back to the car the radio was so hot I couldn't touch it to turn it off um, and in the process I, my headlining collapsed so perhaps I should have left the windows open, but let that be a warning to you. Um, sorting out the hairlining could be a problem, and the age of the car is such that I'm not bothering. Um, for Graham, thank you for taking note of my comments, and uh, for again for G4KL. Um, sorry, do I mean that? No, I don't. Uh, no, I can't remember who it was. Um, but um, the mid Thames write up, or G7 in the edge, I've written it down here. Yeah, the mid Thames uh, write up of their uh, uh, operations in the weekly news was very interesting from my point of view, at least. And with that, yes, with that, I shall uh, say thank you for running the uh, uh, system, Greg, and uh, this is G3ZHX. G3 ZHX, G4 and RC returning. 
Okay, I'll kind of get ahead of Guy answering the question. Um, some groups are still trying to get people encouraged onto using the Raynet system and getting full access to those 100 talk groups per group, plus the 100 per county, plus the 100 per zone, and so on. So the full flexibility isn't used. Uh, the Derbyshire is further ahead than some other areas. But to uh, get interest and to link across the repeaters that we don't link to at the moment, um, then using 23531 fills in the gaps because I do notice uh, the number of um, connected peers on the system does seem to go up and down for Sunday afternoons just to attend on this net. So uh, we need to keep our own um, sort of randomised link fairly active as well. So um, it's an evolutionary step, Ian, I think is the way we're, we're calling it. Um, and Essex do the same to, uh, to link across their multitudinous repeater systems. Okay, thanks for the comments. Um, we'll maybe save talk throughs and power levels for next week's question um, and how hot should a radio get. But we'll go to a place that's not used to questions about hotness, and that'll be Aberdeen. Golf Mic 1, X-Ray Echo Alpha, G4 and RC, over. Yes, we may not be used to it being hot, but we do occasionally get sunshine. My previous uh, rig in the car, eventually the LCD display was becoming almost unreadable as various bits of it died in the sunshine. However, I never had it hot enough to have the lining palm down or anything like that. However, uh, it did make my day when somebody said they liked the article in the news. You often wonder whether folks enjoy it or not. No additional information from this end. Last year we had one of our endurance rides added to the list at the last minute because they changed the routes a little each time and they uh, chose a route that they then found out had no mobile signal on it. So that we had about four days notice of, but uh, no problem as they're a regular customer of ours. So 73 is to be on the net, and thanks for organising it, Greg. Back to you. Over. For NRC returning, just making sure Grandmeister kicks up. Okay, Peter. Um, yes, when they check at the last minute and find their mobile phones don't work, it does help. Right, we did have uh, one station break in um, with a quickie, and that just is the extra highlight to everybody that there's no such thing as a quickie on DMR by the time you wait for the two to three seconds for radios to key in and out, etc. It's not, a, it's not an easy mode for uh, for quick breaks. However, Jack, Golf 8 Hotel in Dia Kilo, go ahead. This is G4 and RC, over. Yes, OK, Greg, yeah. Uh, just a question for you. Um, I don't have a hotspot here, so I, uh, I'm actually joining the net using Star on the laptop. Do you know if it's possible to, uh, to register on the Raynet server using DeepStar or DriveStar, Greg, over? G8HIK, G4 and RC. Um, I think either of those Android packages are capable of connecting to our server because you just give it the credentials in the normal way. So just as you've got it set up to access Brandmeister at the moment, uh, make a quick look, then uh, yes, you could um, log in to the Raynet server, Chuck. I think you probably just need to get an account on the server. Uh, Guy will confirm or otherwise, but I've got a little icon next to you. This implies um, you're not registered on the server at the moment. So yes, with an account on the Raynet server, you'd get the access credentials, which I think will go across into Dude Star, Droid Star, or otherwise. But the person who can fill that one in nicely as the last confirmed station on the list is Guy Mike Zero Golf Uniform Yankee. 
and I might drop you some messages later because I'd like to play with Alden Tunneling between networks. M zero G U I G four and I'll see you. G four and I'll see M zero G U I. Yep, no problem. Um, Jack, yes, uh, absolutely, that will work. You do just need to uh, create your account. Uh, I've just sent your uh, email. Um, your Raynet UK email address, a registration um, email again. Um, I did send one uh, a few weeks ago um, when I first saw you pop up, um, but uh, I've just uh, resent that. So if you look in your Raynet email address uh, mailbox, you will find a registration email. If you follow the link on that registration email, that will create you an account, and that's the, uh, the where things start. So the first case is create your account on the server, and then uh, then we can uh, create a what we call a hotspot, um, and uh, and get, create the configuration, which you will then give to uh, your Droid Star uh, system, and uh, that will work for you. Uh, as for you, Greg, uh, yeah, no problem. Um, I'm not having great success, but uh, we can certainly uh, collaborate to see if we can get uh, some. Um, some um, mesh networking working, that would be uh, very good. Um, so uh, I will look out for, for your emails later. Otherwise, thanks for running the net, Greg, and I will speak to you all later. So 73 is from Mike Zero, Golf Uniform Yankee. You for an RC returning. Okay, thanks, Guy. Um, Yes, it was one of the jobs I meant to do this weekend to get the 44 net stuff working. Uh, I've got Arden working within the house, um, but I need something to provide a service. So um, might move the uh, web SDR over to uh, to that as a, a means of just giving you something to look at. But we'll play. Right, I've got two stations who called in who did not respond on their first call backs, so we'll just try again for them before I close the net. So Drew, Mike Zero, Mike Fox, Sierra, M Zero, MFS, G4 and RC over. G4 and RC, M Zero, MFS. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I I think I was um, in transit between um, a hotspot on Grandmaster. And <laughs> 